Hey everyone, it's great to be back with you for another doomsday scenario. And this one might just be the most extreme I've ever looked at. The universe is vast, but ironically, its building blocks are incredibly small. Atoms. They're so tiny that you could line up millions of them across the width of a single human hair. There are 118 different types of atoms, corresponding to the 118 known chemical elements. What they all have in common is that each one consists of a positively charged nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. The number of positively charged protons determines what element it is, while the number of electrons usually equals the number of protons, making the atom electrically neutral overall. This delicate balance is what allows matter to be stable and to support life as we know it. It allows atoms to bond together to form molecules, and these molecules, in turn, form the tissues and organs of living organisms. So, what would happen if we disrupted this electrical balance by adding just one extra electron to every single atom in the universe? This is definitely a super far-fetched hypothetical scenario, one that would never actually happen in the real world. So, I hope you'll all take it as a fun way to explore the fundamental laws that govern our universe. Let's start with some numbers to really drive home just how incredibly atom-packed the universe is. In a typical 250 ml glass of water, there are about 8 million trillion trillion atoms. A 4 kilogram cat contains around 400 million trillion trillion atoms. And an average 70 kilogram human being has about 7 billion trillion trillion atoms inside them. To count all the atoms in your body at a rate of one atom per second, it would take you longer than a billion times the age of the universe. By estimating the total mass of the observable universe and dividing it by the average mass of a single atom, scientists have calculated that the observable universe contains roughly 10 to the power of 80 atoms. That's 100 million octillion atoms. To make things even more mind-boggling, let's imagine adding an equal number of electrons to all those atoms throughout the universe. Boom, instant whiteout, blinding light, intense heat, and total disintegration. The end of everything as we know it. Family equals zero. And all of this would happen in a tiny fraction of a second. Now, let's slow things down so we can stretch this video out a bit. When a neutral atom gains an extra electron, it becomes a negative ion. This completely changes how the atom behaves. Ions are crucial in the human body. Sodium, potassium, and calcium ions help our nerves transmit signals and our muscles contract. But they can only do this when there's a delicate balance of electrolytes, meaning that the ions need to be maintained at the right ratios and distributed correctly inside and outside of cells, as well as throughout bodily fluids. If every neutral atom suddenly gained an extra electron, it would become a negative ion According to Coulomb's law, which is a fairly straightforward principle, like charges repel each other. The result would be a body made entirely of particles that are actively trying to get away from each other. The chemical bonds that hold molecules together rely on the sharing or transfer of electrons. With every atom having an extra electron, those bonds would weaken and break apart. The result would be your body falling apart at the most fundamental level and it wouldn't be a pleasant experience. Even though a single electron only carries a tiny charge of 1.6 by 10 or 19 coulombs, multiplying that by 7 billion trillion trillion suddenly makes it a significant amount. Your body would suddenly have a negative charge of billions of coulombs, 1.12 billion coulombs to be exact. For comparison, a medium-sized lightning strike carries about 15 coulombs. It might sound like you'd instantly turn into Electro, the high-voltage supervillain from Marvel Comics. But no, all those negatively charged atoms would repel each other with such immense force that it would shatter your molecular structure. From an outside perspective, your body would simply vanish in what would appear to be a violent explosion. 
the heat and shockwave would destroy everything around you. And I'm not exaggerating here. If we were to compress the remains of this unfortunate individual into a sphere, the potential energy released due to the electrostatic interaction between all the charges in their body could be calculated using the following formula. Substituting Q equals 1.12 billion and using an average human volume of 65 liters, which is equivalent to a sphere with a radius of 25 centimeters, we get R equals 25. The calculation gives us a U value of approximately 2.7 not per 10 well to 28 joules. To put that into perspective, that's 129 billion times the energy released by the Tsar Bomba, the most powerful nuclear weapon ever tested, and 64,000 times the energy of the impact that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Ultimately, the human body, and indeed all living organisms, would become a cloud of plasma, a mixture of charged particles moving at near light speed. You'd no longer be a biological life form, but rather a purely physical phenomenon. But atoms aren't just the building blocks of tiny humans. They're the building blocks of everything else in the universe, including the planet we live on. On a small scale, electromagnetic forces hold electrons around the nucleus, binding atoms and molecules together. But on a much larger scale, gravity acts as the cosmic glue holding matter together in massive celestial bodies, keeping the Earth orbiting the Sun, and binding millions or even billions of stars together into galaxies. So, could this immense force of gravity save the Earth from the catastrophe of an extra electron? The answer is no. While gravity can pull trillions of tons of rock and dust together to form the Earth, at the atomic level, electromagnetism is about 1036 times stronger. This means that if you added one electron to every atom on Earth, only a small fraction of the resulting excess charge would be enough to overcome all gravitational forces and cause the Earth to explode into space. Now, imagine the same thing happening everywhere, to every mass in the universe all releasing similar amounts of energy in a tiny fraction of a nanosecond. Eventually, the matter in the universe would disintegrate and all life would evaporate. The end, or maybe not quite. The sun and other stars are primarily made of plasma, not solid, liquid, or gas. Plasma is a state of matter in which electrons have been stripped away from the nuclei of a gas. Solar plasma consists mostly of H plus ions, a few He2 plus ions and free electrons. With roughly equal numbers of positive ions and electrons, the overall charge is close to zero. When we add an electron to every atom on Earth, they become negative ions. However, when the H plus ions in the sun gain an electron, they become neutral. But it doesn't stop there. Under the extreme temperatures and pressures in the sun's core, reionization occurs, causing the electron we just added to be stripped away again, forming a free electron and returning the neutral H atom back into an H plus ion. This increases the density of free electrons, creating strong electrostatic forces that cause the electrons to repel each other and disperse. It might sound like the sun is about to explode, but that's not the case. Unlike solids or liquids, in a plasma, the ions and free electrons can move around freely, which helps to reduce the repulsive electrostatic forces and prevents the plasma from dispersing. In addition, the sun's immense gravitational and magnetic fields help to maintain the structure of the plasma, preventing the star from breaking apart like a solid object would. And thankfully, this is all just a hypothetical scenario that would never actually happen, even if you wished for it on a shooting star. Adding an electron to every atom in the universe is pretty much physically impossible. The amount of energy required to do that is simply beyond our capacity to produce. And even if we could, the object would self-destruct catastrophically due to the immense electrostatic repulsion. The lesson we can learn from this thought experiment is that the universe exists in a state of delicate balance. 
and you definitely shouldn't try adding an electron to every atom in the universe at home. But those are just the conclusions that Brain Pop Universe has drawn based on the information we've gathered. What do you think? Do you agree with this scenario, or would you add anything else? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. As always, remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with Brain Pop Universe. And with that, goodbye and see you next time.